Google needs no introduction. It's a prolific tech company that 4 billion people around the world use every single day. If you use Google Search, Gmail, or YouTube, then you're part of the Google universe too. So where does the magic happen? Do you want to see Google's headquarters in California? I'll show you the massive Google campus in Mountain View and the fun Android Sculpture Park. So keep watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos for software engineers. Hi, I'm Yulia Eskin, a Silicon Valley tech lead and a career coach for software engineers. This is the right channel for you if you're a software engineer who wants to get promoted, become a tech lead, or just be a better engineer. Google started in 1996 by two Stanford University students, Larry Page and Sergey Brin. As crazy and cliche as it sounds, they started the company out of a friend's garage in true Silicon Valley fashion. Well, fast forward to 2004 and Googleplex was born, the nickname for Google's headquarters. It is home for about 30,000 employees. Google's workforce in the world is actually 140,000 people. It is located at 1600 Amphitheater Parkway in Mountain View, California, about 145 drives south from San Francisco and only 10 minutes away from Stanford University where it all began. The campus has over 3 million square feet of space and has more than 20 different buildings. It cost $500 million to build. Google has many more buildings throughout Silicon Valley in Palo Alto, Sunnyvale, and also in San Francisco. In fact, Google is building another large campus right by Googleplex in the shape of a tent to house thousands more employees. The land for the new campus costs a billion dollars. Googleplex's architecture mirrors Google's cultural values, which are focused on creativity, play, and innovation. Its fun logo, which is blue, red, yellow, and green, can be seen everywhere from the bicycle racks to the bikes all over the campus and even to the fire hydrants. Oh yeah, Google has free bikes all over the large campus so that employees can easily and quickly move from building to building. Googleplex has many playful elements. A dinosaur sculpture that plays homage to the previous company that resided in that area which worked on the dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park movie. There's a volleyball court right in the middle of a large courtyard with real sand where people can eat, relax, and have lunch. There's an entire Android sculpture park that represent different Android operating system versions. These versions are named after desserts. And in this park, you can find marshmallow, donut, Oreo, ice cream sandwich, gingerbread man, eclair, froyo, and cupcake. These statues are often displayed throughout the campus when Android releases a new operating system version. But right now, the Android Statue Park is actually by the Google Merchandise Store, which is just a short drive away from the main campus. Google is famous for encouraging independent and creative thinking in their engineers, and that's something that really influenced Silicon Valley culture as a whole. As I was exploring the campus, I saw many buildings with glass windows so that natural light can come in, which is known for boosting creativity. Creativity. Another important element for creativity and productivity is allowing employees to work from anywhere on campus. That's why Google has so many indoor and outdoor spaces with comfortable lounge chairs, picnic chairs, gardens, and areas to relax and mingle. Googleplex also houses 30 different cafes and restaurants so that its employees never have to worry about food or leaving the campus. There are many areas where you can have a meal and sit and enjoy some social time with others. Open spaces and the micro kitchens that Google is so known for are meant to encourage people from different teams to have ad hoc conversation that spark new ideas and then foster innovation. They also encourage employees to take a break when they want to and enjoy the beautiful landscaping that the campus has to offer in terms of gardens and parks. This brings me to my favorite aspect of the campus, nature. Google owns a large amount of land in Mountain View and Silicon Valley in general. In fact, 10% of the citizens of Mountain View actually work for Google. The land that it owns includes parks, ravines, and is home to different animals too. Between buildings there are natural wooden bridges and green walking paths where employees can take a walk. 
There are also different kinds of trees and flowers. In the heart of the campus, Google has beautiful landscaping, which include vegetable gardens, lemon tree pots, and occasional squirrels and birds who roam around. And of course, the iconic redwood tree that is native to Northern California and can be found right by the Google Merchandise Store. All in all, Google stays true to its mission, to do no harm, and so it takes advantage of the sunny weather in California and has solar panels installed in most of its parking lot so that it can help power 30% of its electrical needs. This ends my Googleplex tour and I have to say that I absolutely loved it. I highly recommend that you come and visit Googleplex as well. It is free for the public to come and enjoy. So tell me in the comments, what did you think about Googleplex? What do you think about Google as a whole? Would you love to work at a campus that allows you to experience some play and creativity while working? If you like this video, then please check out my website below and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. So this is the hat you get when you start working at Google and it's called a Noogler hat because new employees at Google are called Nooglers. And you can rotate this little thing here and then Wear it and let it work. <laughs> Hi, my name is Android and I work for Google. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that works.